Hi guys, welcome to Martin Made. My name's Stephanie and today I'm going to give you some ideas for organization that are cheap and easy to establish. So I like organization just as much as the next person. I like things in order. I like things to be in their place, but that doesn't always happen when you have two little kids. So they, there are times when I just have to accept the disorder in the home, but there are also ways that I have been, have found that have made things easier in the way of organizing. And so I'm going to give you a few of those today and they're cheap. They're, they're not expensive to do. They're not expensive to purchase. Um, you might even have some of them around the house already, but um, we're gonna get into this. So the first one would be command hooks. Um, I love to use command hooks. I have command hooks all around my home. I use them for our bathroom. We have our mats that go in the bottom of the tub and I use, I have a big command hook on the side of our, our shower part where I just hang our, all of our um, mats and I use one there. I use one in um, Silas's room to hold his belt. I have used them inside cabinets to hold little um, cloths that I can wipe off the countertops. Um, I've used them to hold up all of my um, KitchenAid um, like paddles and things like that. I use it for that as well as using them for all of my um, like serve, uh, what do you call it? All of my, oh, what are those called? All of my, I use them for all of my measuring cups as well as my measuring spoons and things like that. I just use them in the cabinet. Um, just all around the house to hold cords. I use one on the back of my KitchenAid to hold the cord there and keep it in place. And so I use command hooks a lot through our out our entire house and they are very useful. Um, you have to make sure that you have the right um, command hook for the right task or the right place that you're going to put it. But apart from that, they like they have so many kinds. They have some that can hold backpacks. They have some that can hold, you know, just simple little cords or simple little measuring cups. But um, they have such a variety and they even have tabs that can get wet or they can they're for outside. They can hold things um outside they can get wet they can have the heat of the sun and all and still hold to the wall and so command hooks are my probably my number one way to organize things the second one would be clothes pins now clothes pins i use for my kids socks and i do that because a lot of people will roll the socks at the top just to keep them all together but I don't like how it stretches out the socks and so what I will do is I will close pin the socks together and it's real simple to just take the close pins and put them in a little container off to the side um, right next to where you store your socks and you just unhook it throw the clothespin in the little bin and you put your socks on and it doesn't stretch to stretch the socks out at all. And so that would be my second idea. The third one is, would be baskets. Um, I use baskets throughout my house for a variety of different things. Um, some is 
to store like gloves and hats and um, bags like the shopping bags in. We use it for that. We also use baskets for the backs of the toilets where I just put some extra rolls of toilet paper in them. And um, we also use it for, a, we have a basket that holds just a few kind of basic necessities in our bathroom that we can't really store anywhere right now. And so it's been very useful to have that to store a few things like deodorant and our toothpaste so it doesn't all sit on the counter of our bathroom. And so we've used baskets in the bedrooms for to hold some books and as well as here in the living room. And so baskets are another great way that you can find um, use for in, organi in organizing your home. Um, and the last one I would say would be shoe um, hangers. So the things that you hang on your door that you can put shoes in, you can also use those for other things. I have used one under my sink for quite a long time now. I um, usually have to cut it down, but I'll hold it with command hooks <laughs> and then I will hang it on the inside of my door under my sink and it has my soap right there. It has anything that I need for when I'm washing like scrubbers or anything like that. Um, we keep our wash like our um, rinse aid in the in that we also keep um, the scraper for our cast iron dish or cast iron pans and all of that on there. My husband also has one downstairs that we keep all of his ties in and it's been the best way to organize his ties as of right now. And so we've like, it's really simple to put the ties away. You can see what ties you are picking out. And so you're not like digging through a bunch of ties to find that one that you were looking for or try to find one that matches. And so that was actually my sister's idea. She gave me that idea. She decided to do that with her husband's ties. Instead of putting them in a drawer, she, she used a shoe hanger and put them in the shoe hanger and they have that has been great for um the ties and so um those are just a couple of things that are cheap and easy to implement in your home for organizing so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up for those of you who are new to the channel you can hit that red subscribe button down below and you can also hit that little bell off to the one side that bell will notify you anytime that you that I upload a new video and you can watch it. If you don't hit the bell, that's okay too. Some people don't like notifications um, and I'm not gonna push you to um, make you hit that bell. But if you don't like notifications, just leave the bell alone and you can subscribe though to my channel. If you would like, you can comment down below. I love to hear from you guys. Um, I usually respond to everybody who comments in the comment section and um, I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.